Welcome back in. This is a live look at Columbus, Mississippi. Some traffic cameras where we're surveying the storm damage after tornadoes and thunderstorms moved through this afternoon. And we're joined live again tonight with CBS 42 news reporter Robert Sherman, who's there in Columbus on the ground. Robert, people have a lot of cleaning up to do. They certainly do, and one of the residents who I spoke to may have even put it best. It seems so that the further and further you go, the worse and worse it gets. I just want to show you this right over here. This is a telephone pole that we found here, completely uprooted from the ground, and look at how it's lying. It's just lying totally suspended by these power wires over here. That just goes to show you the force of these winds. We spoke to the owner of uh, this house that's just over here by this power line, a man named David Sanders, who says that his home was built, it was has been in his family since 1912. His grandfather built it and both he and his father were born here. But the winds that came through and ravaged this family heirloom, he describes as the perfect storm. I think it was a straight wind. I don't believe it was really a tornado. I just think it's sort of a perfect storm. We've had so much rain that the soil is so moist and so wet that the, the, the straight winds just blew everything over. <laughs> And we've been trying to reach out to officials to get more information as to exactly how much damage there is here. And if there are any injuries, we have not heard back from those officials yet, but we'll update you as promptly as possible as we gather new details. But for now, reporting live in Columbus, Mississippi, Robert Sherman, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.